Three phases of stability. Phase one, manual stability. If the medic requires rapid access to an unresponsive patient, crew members should brace the vehicle to prevent any unwanted movement. This provides rapid access to the medic and allows them to gain immediate access to the patient. Phase two, blocks and wedges. If during the initial survey it's identified the patient is non-time critical, crews will have time to use blocks and wedges to stabilize the vehicle and also use wedges on the wheels to prevent any movement. This should be done carefully, but quickly. Blocks and wedges can be used on a vehicle in any orientation. Simply identify points of strength and fill in the space between the roadway and the vehicle. Phase three, additional equipment. When vehicles come to rest on their side or on their roof, additional equipment may be used. Blocks and shocks usually will not be enough to provide adequate stability to allow crews to enter the vehicle. Incident commanders and the technical team should assess the position of the vehicle and deploy the appropriate equipment where necessary in order to provide full and safe stability. Stability should be checked throughout the rescue process when weight is added or taken away from the vehicle. 